Good morning, Thursday, May 7th. How are you? Today is the National Day of Prayer. So I thought we would start with our morning prayer and then we will feature our star student and then do a quick little craft, read our book, and then do the closing prayer we normally do at the end of the school day. So our morning prayer, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving God, we offer you today all we think and do and say, uniting it with what was done on earth by Jesus Christ, your Son. Be with us as we collaborate with others, as we are educated to become lifelong learners, thinkers, and good citizens. As we cultivate a school which promotes love and compassion for all, and as we serve as witnesses of our faith in your gospel values everywhere. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Then we normally do the pledge. Then Mrs. Hibbler does the announcements that we can never hear, and we're normally straining to see what they are. And then, oh gosh, if they say something about KB, we're all, what was that? Do we need to do something? But it always works out. Okay. Carly is our star student today. So let's learn a little bit about Carly, and then I'll show you a picture. She was born January 1st at Fairview Hospital. Her favorite color is purple. Her favorite food, mac and cheese. Favorite book, Rescue and Jessica. Favorite movie, Frozen 2. That was a popular one. Favorite sport, cheerleading and dance. Favorite thing about yourself, she is kind and helpful and silly. That is true, Carly, you are. All right, here's a picture of Carly. She and her mom travel all around the world. Here's a picture of Carly in front of the Eiffel Tower. Very cool. Isn't that sweet? Okay. How many people are in your family? Mommy, Daddy, Papa, lots of aunts, uncles, and grandparents. Favorite pet or other animal? Three cats and a fish. Guppies are her favorite cheetahs, and snow wolves. What do you like to learn at school? Math, art, music, and Spanish. Who do you admire most? Her mommy. Her hobbies include Scottish dance, ballet, caring for her fish, bike riding, and snuggling. What are you really good at? She's really good at riding her bike without training wheels. Good job. What do you want to be when you grow up? She would like to be a paleontologist. Awesome choice. So Carly, it's your day. Maybe mom and you can go for a walk and you can be line leader. Maybe you can put a mystery item in a bag and have mommy try to guess what it is. That might be fun. You could dress down today. Keep your pajamas on all day. Anything fun, enjoy it. That's exciting. Okay, so Mother's Day is on Sunday, so I have two coffee filter crafts, one today, and then I'm gonna do the other one tomorrow. So don't show it yet, just Dylan, keep a little bit of mystery. So today, we're gonna do a dove. So you need a coffee filter. Mine are a little bit small for the template, but I will attach the, attach the template to the email, and then you just kind of have to make it work depending on how big yours are. So Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Then you want to cut it out. So you can sit here while I... And these are so thin that truthfully, you could do four or five of these at a time. Dylan always wants me to do them two at a time or something when I steal his coffee filters. Otherwise, there's an odd number. Okay, see how it's a dove? And then you can kind of fluff out the wings a little bit. Now, if you want, you can do a whole bunch and you can hang them like I've done here. Dylan, if you could show them our lovely dove garland. Isn't that pretty? So you could work on this today and you could hang them up for mom for Mother's Day. That might be a nice surprise. Like I said yesterday, mom can help. She's not gonna care, um, but it'll be fun to celebrate mom. So you can do this craft today. There's another one tomorrow. You could do both. You could do your own thing, whatever you're good with. Okay, we are gonna read the first half of this book, generously donated by the Drum family. And then we're gonna do the closing prayer. So stay tuned for that. All right, friends, 
Are you my mother? And the first picture. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh, oh, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. Out came the baby bird. Where is my mother, he said. He looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, she said, or he said, sorry. So away he went. Oops, down out of the tree he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what his mother looked like. He went right by her. He did not see her. See, he's here and mommy's up here getting a nice worm for him. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother, he said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked. It did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother, so he went on. Then he came to a hen. Are you my mother, he said to the hen? No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said, but where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother, he said to the dog. I am not your mother, I am a dog, said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Are you my mother, he said to the cow. How could I be your mother, said the cow. I am a cow. The kitten and the hen were not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? Oh. I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I will. All right, let me put the bookmark in. The drums had this is their bookmark, Bishop Perez. So that was fun. I'll leave this in here. He relocated. He's now the bishop in Philadelphia. So we miss him. All right, let's do our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. You'll remember that this is a prayer from Mother Teresa. Lord, open our eyes so we may recognize our brothers and sisters. Lord, open our ears so we may hear the cries of the hungry, the cold, the fearful, and the oppressed. Lord, open our hearts so we may love one another as you love us. Renew in us your spirit, Lord. Make us free and united. All right, friends. See you tomorrow.